Tony, there was obviously a lot in that game to ask you about, but I guess first, Carl's just been in here and said that he felt his side was lucky to still be in that game when they equalised, given how good you were in the first half. Would you agree with that sentiment? You think you should have had a 2-3 goal lead at half-time? Yeah. Um, thinking there, was a, there were a lot of chances, so I'm just trying to think through all the chances that we had. Um, yeah, definitely it was an outstanding display, but I think from start to end, I think we had a lot of chances early in the second half as well. Uh, with 10 men, we had opportunities, so the boys were, you know, fantastic. Um, the only thing missing was the, the um, extra two points, but, um, you know, we had Adama come off, a red card. Um, you know, the boys should be really proud of their performance. What is the status with Adama? It looked like he's done a serious hamstring injury. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll get, we'll get scans and sometimes it can be deceiving because it's, uh, it's quite painful, but um, yeah, we're hoping it's uh, not too bad. Yeah. So obviously, the second half, really things boil over and I guess the big thing that ruins a lot of your plans is Roderick coming off two yellow cards um, inside, I think it was inside four or five minutes. What did you make of both of those decisions? Uh, look, the second one's a, a foul or a yellow card. Um, the first one's debatable whether it's even a foul because Roddy doesn't touch him. Um, so it's definitely not a yellow um, and I'd argue whether it's a foul. So I'm disappointed that he got that one. The game itself it felt like spot fires were breaking out everywhere. Players were losing focus, just pushing and shoving. How, how did you see that maybe last 20 or so minutes? Oh, look, it's, it's, a, it's a derby. It's a, it's a big rivalry. Uh, I don't think we should focus on that. You know, if you, if you watch the games, and it was an excellent game of football, a lot of passion, um, what you expect in this type of match. But you know, Melbourne victory, we're, we're brilliant tonight. It, at the ends there, it looked like Nestria and Kunda was coming in for a bit of physical treatment. We've just had Carl in here saying that he needs more protection. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think he was coming in for undue attention or do you think it was just fair challenges? Oh, look, you know, that's, that's his player and, you know, obviously he'll, he'll defend his player. Um, uh, look, you know, the referee's made a decision and, um, and I'll, I'll, I haven't got too much to say about that. I thought Stefan had a really good game after he came on from Adama. What mm -hmm. were your thoughts on him? Because I think he played in multiple positions, particularly after the, the red card for your team. Um, what were your thoughts on him, his performance? Yeah, I, th I think he was a part of a number of players. You know, Fabian Monge made his debut in the A-League tonight. You know, in, in, in a big game, a uh, big crowd, you know, against an opponent that's been doing really well the first couple of matches. And I thought he was brilliant. It, it's, it's such a shame that he didn't get that goal when he went uh, through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Um, but a brilliant first up performance. Frank Alina made his debut tonight. Um, you know, overall, there are a lot of positives, a lot of positives. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the group in how they performed tonight. And, um, you know, we've got to, we can be disappointed we didn't win because we deserve to win, that's clear. Um, but, you know, we, we've got to build on this and, you know, and keep performing this way and, and know that the results will follow. The decision to start Fabian over Rai, was that tactical or did Rai carry, was Rai carrying a knock coming into this one? No, no knock. Was that a no tactical knock. decision? Yeah, just a tactical decision, coach's decision. And in the first half, obviously, it's been overshadowed by a lot of everything else, but the football that you were playing mm -hmm. there, you weren't rewarded with a goal, but some of the movement in that front four, the combination play, dribbling, the passing, it, it felt like a completely different victory than we've seen for mm -hmm. quite a while. Can you, like, what has gone so, even so early on, like, it, the, ostensibly this should be getting even better as the season mm -hmm. goes on, but what's gone so right so early? Well, the, the, a lot of work was put into pre-season. Um, you know, we were very particular in the type of players we wanted to bring in. Uh, we brought a lot of, you know, there are young players that have come in. You know, Daniel's still young, uh, albeit he's been around for a very long time. Um, you know, Zizou's 27, you know, very good footballer. You know, Ryan Teague's come in, 21. Fabian Monge, 21. And we brought some experience in Adama at the back. So these players have all contributed. Uh, but we had a very good pre-season, worked extremely hard on um, improving our football, uh, improving with the ball. And we, we've seen signs of it throughout all the games, but today was probably the most we've shown in the three matches. And, um, you know, we won't lose any confidence from what happened today. We just got to build on it and extend it. And, um, you know, I thought even the second half was one of the greatest moves that Daniel Arzani played a beautiful through ball for Nish. 
then the ball fell to Bruno with an open goal. Uh, you know, so that was even in the second half. So the, the players did really well. And with 10 men, you know, I honestly felt on the sideline that we would score. You know, where, where Chris was in the box, had a shot. Uh, Zinedine had a shot. Ben Falami had a shot. So we, we looked dangerous throughout the whole game. So um, many positives. Um, just got to go again on Friday and try and repeat the performance. And then, you know, we, we, we trust that the results will, will, will follow. That's for sure. I mean, Zinedine for the goal, Ryan Kiddo has just bounced right off him. Mm. And then, of course, in round one, he's run over Jake Gerwood, right? Is he like some sort of beast in the weight room or is he just naturally a tank? Mm. Yeah, physically so strong. Oh, look, I've, I've spoken a lot about him and what, I, what I've thought about him in the pre-season and prior to the season starting. Um, there's so much more to come from him. Uh, he's still building his fitness, um, but he's an outstanding talent. Just on Nishan Valupale, we saw him start again and have a really, really positive performance, creating chances. Uh, what can you sort of say on his development we've seen recently, obviously earning a new contract, and sort of how far you know, can you see him going you know, in the game? Should have scored five tonight. <laughs> That's what he should have done. So, um, you know, we can obviously talk about uh, the evolving player and how he's improving and, and creating opportunities. He scored a wonderful goal last week, and today I think five is being kind. Um, I'm sure I've missed out on one or two there, but clear opportunity. So he's getting in the positions, but the next step for him is that, you know, he should be celebrating a lot more goals. Obviously, we have you know, already a very strong midfield we see with Ryan T, Marshan. Um, obviously, Monge came in today, but you know, we have someone like Jake Brimmer on the bench, you know, the you know, Johnny Warren medalist. So how mm -hmm. do you sort of see him potentially fitting into this midfield? Obviously, Mar you know, Marshash, even further forward, he's been great, do you potentially move him into that pivot or, you know, maybe into that number 10 role? He's got to bide his time at the moment. Um, you know, he's still, Jake, he's still working back to full fitness and, um, you know, he got some minutes last week. Today just didn't pan out that way with, with the way the game went. Um, you know, we, we thought Benny coming on uh, to give us, you know, that speed and power out wide um, when we were down to 10 men. So, you know, my intention was to get him on the field today, but it didn't you know, pan out that way uh, for tonight. But, you know, he's working hard and he's, you know, he was out for nine months. So, um, you know, you can have quality but and talent, which he clearly does, and we all acknowledge that here at this club. Um, but, you know, he's, he's making up ground for what he lost in pre-season. And uh, he's taking steps and, you know, he'll get there soon. Um, I just wanted to ask about that mystery, Aaron Kunda, red card. He was visibly upset when he got the second yellow and I saw you kind of consoled him a bit. I was just wondering what words you kind of gave him as he was walking. Yeah, look, he's, he's a young player, um, exuberant. Um, obviously, it's, it's an emotional game. There's a big crowd. Things happen. Um, yeah, he got a red card and I just wanted to calm down. You know, it's, uh, I've been there. I've been there as a young player and uh, you feel the world's ended in that moment. It's a split split second decision, you know, didn't want him to do something he'll regret. And um, yeah, I was just trying to calm him down before he went off. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.